Welcome to another edition of uh, First Minister's Questions Review. Um, we, they've been in rece uh, recess for three weeks, so uh, we have managed to uh, talk about things every week for our regular viewers and listeners. However, um, this week so we're down to the usual crew of three men in a bog, Phil Attridge, Laurie Stewart, myself Stuart Lockhead, and uh, it's a little hard to know, we've, we've got lots to talk about, we'll probably do another uh, a wee Leith Noise Up show after this little review. Meanwhile, Alex Salmon was back <coughs> in the chamber, commanding his audience. Do you want to get st started, Phil? Yeah, well, the overall, yeah, I think Alex Salmon was in. I mean, he looks like relief, I suppose, once you've seen a bit of some toxic material buried, you know. Um, yeah, he was probably filled in a much more buoyant mood. Um, overall, I mean, if you just start with Wee Willie, I mean, I mean, really, really, why, why does he bother? Here he comes along with the two-year-old bit. Again, grow up, Billy. Go into primary school or something we, like we that. We need to count how many times he's led with that yeah, question. Um, and he gets the figures and he just comes up with that silly, super silly, a smirk on his face. Um, you know, and then as Ruth Davis comes up and starts having a naming names of people, this, you know, that nasty Tory trait of making things, you know, about murders and rapes, um, and then having to go at Alex Salmon for not, um, you know, doing away with a, a Tory bit of legislation. Which early later, release. Early, early release, which was their idea to come. Automatic. Okay. Yeah, automatic. Automatic early release. Early release. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, is she dense or what? Or is it, because she's obviously had some kind of makeover, no, if you I'm, noticed. I'm sorry. You know, I mean, the Tories have done retrospective legislation in Westminster. So she probably thinks we'll do it in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. Um, even though what yeah, they were, surely, even they were doing the retrospective legislation yeah, surely, um, to cover up an illegality. So really, maybe we should lock up people like Ruth Davis and her kind um, <laughs> and then do away with the early release. Well, well, that right, might sort it out. All right, Phil, but um, what about... Usual Tory pitch. Yeah, um, Joanne? No, no, but honestly, <laughs> Ruth Davis and surely her advisor got, got it so wrong. Going on crime with the figures that Scotland has, it's just stupid. Yeah, because there's, there's been a huge drop. And, I mean, you, you get a massive rise in, in figures when you have people like Tories in. And you just watch over the next few years now with people's benefits, everything thrown on the street, crime will rise. Will it rise because they're all criminal? No, because an awful lot of people will probably be just trying to survive, thanks to these people. Joanne? Um, she's going on about the, the figures of youth unemployment. Well, if you turn around, I mean, to my mind, I think she did a good delivery, but Salmon, well, if, you, if it's dropped from 25 to 17, there's a drop of around 30%. That can only be good news. Um, and then when he threw the figures back at her, and again, you know, about so many people being in employment for six months before they got the apprenticeship, well, actually, their figures are better than 2006. It's... When they play with figures, it must turn people off, you know, because I always think, you know, there's lies, damn lies, statistics. We all know Figures that. don't lie, but quite obviously, watching today, an awful lot of liars play with figures. Yeah, well, and I don't think those sound bites, well, I don't think statistics work very well for sound bites. No, they don't. They're boring. Uh, some, somebody needs to do something about it, these speeches that Joanne made. Oh, the shifty eyes again. Oh. Because, I mean, what she does by making these long, long speeches, is she leaves openings for Salmon. Mm. She says too much. If she just got up and asked a question, if she asked a real question that put Salmon on the back foot, that would be effective. It was interesting that... But she gives him but so Salmon, much opportunity. Sal Salmon himself said, is that a question? <laughs> but also she says too much, and at the end of the day, by saying so much, she doesn't actually say anything. Yeah, but I mean, even she gets the question, and Salmon gets up and ignores the question, and picks up on something else she said. Mm -hmm. And takes the match. And then she says, "You never answer my question." I mean, the way the way to do this, if if you've got a genuine question, you get up, you ask the question, you have your wee bit. We're better than you, but it's got to be one sentence, mm. or everybody just forgets. You know, I, I'm sitting here thinking, if I hadn't written it down, I wouldn't have a clue what the question was she was asking. Did she ask a question? Oh, well, I know. I know she, she started was, teaching she in was, 1980. Yeah. Yes. Basically, she was going on about um, 17,000 lost young people. As I said at the time, when I was that sort of age, 
I just went to England, and I thought a lot of young people in Scotland probably have gone to England. Yeah, but it's not the government and our examines, you know, people, I mean... We, well, know, they've we got don't... nets at the border to stop well, them. Yeah, but in the EU, they could be anywhere, and why didn't she... What does she mean by lost? It's such a stupid expression. There's 17,000 well, people I presume, lost. I presume um, there's a statistical black hole that there's 17,000 that can't be identified. I'm sorry, 17,000 kids didn't get lost. No, you know, is there a white slave trade on Scottish kids or something? I don't know. Well, I've got a daughter in Australia, young, a young, you know, young person. I've got a, a, another daughter in, in England. I went away to mm. Wales and Ireland and places. People, young people, t what travel? Yeah, I came up here. I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I think the standard, the standard there actually, I thought was just appalling. It was terrible. Right then, Murray. Well, Joanne, she's got a comfort zone thing. She's still not getting it right. Because, as we've already said, she babbles on like, oh, God, she just drums on. So you've lost interest before she gets to her question. Mm. So from the point of view of being effective, apart from the poor media who are going to sit there and scrabble through it all to get a, a soundbite, Sam had ripped her up to shreds, you know. I mean, before we went into recession, the stats were worse for the Labour Party than they are for the SNP now when we're in a recession. So, you know, no. And then there's a female version of Ozil Gummit that got up. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Uh, your favourite. Yeah, yeah, but I mean... Elaine Murray, is it? Elaine Murray. Murray. Yeah, yeah, Murray, yeah. that. Ozil Gummit, you know, a female version of You know, when she gets up, oh. they're prattling what she read in the paper away last month. And, and sorry, it's on the Scotland on Sunday. I mean, really, really renowned for hitting and an investigative yeah, truth. she does this all the time. Has she not got the news to... She well, obviously sits for a week and trawls through things, thinking if I go back far enough, he'll not be able to remember the question. Mm. You know, he'll not remember what it's about, I'll catch him out. Someone's okay. smarter than that. She could actually be a character on what you would call a parody sort of type. Spit an image. Yes, you know, a, a, a programme. Yeah, except she's real. <laughs> well, well, then, Ruth Davidson. <laughs> Oh, I mean, as, and I'll say it again, she, she's not hiding in nothing. There is nothing that she can ask Salmond about that he can't turn around and say, well, you're locked down south, your bosses are doing it worse. So, you know, bugger off, silly cat. But, I mean, not to realise that the legislation wouldn't apply retrospectively was just stupid. I mean, just silly. So and then, well, we're, we're going to have to run a book on this two-year-old thing. We have to go because back. Because I can't remember him asking any question that wasn't about two-year-olds. And I can't remember Sam and ever ask, answering it differently. Our quality is better, your quality is going downhill. Here's another list of quotes from another list of people who are telling you this. Maybe somebody should get them some wee reading books or something like that, you know what I mean? Well, That's I mean... Normally get them. He it, it ju just looks stupid. He looks like a petulant child. Did you not notice that yesterday, a very, by yesterday afternoon, you know, we had a huge power cut. The whole north of Edinburgh was out from Princess Street to the sea uh, for a, a half an hour or an hour. They come back in, in sections and areas. But uh, BBC Scotland had put up a wee article saying that uh, the, the cause of that was they were exercising Willie Rennie's ghost <laughs> and this had caused a power cut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> BBC Scotland show has done really well because they, they did that hourly report thing. I don't know if you followed it on Nephi McGonfley's funeral. They oh, right. sort of transposed her for Thatcher. <laughs> oh, very good. Very and she'd be off and shuggle. I, I can honestly say my part in that was about that much. But see, when you were watching that whole performance today, um, and you're sitting there and you're going, shall I vote yes? Shall I vote, vote no? And then you have a minute to go, God, that could transform into a government that's doing everything in Scotland. That's enough to get people in the vote, no. Um, well, the, the other thing is this crap that the Labour Party have come up with. All your income tax should be in Scotland, except oil. Of course. Because that's so volatile, we can you handle that. And what's the difference? Why, did, why separate out tax and welfare? Because it's the impact. It's like, say, it's like saying, why do you earn money? Well, to spend. Well, why do you need tax to, to, for welfare? Yeah. Mm. And why leave powers of welfare in London and, and, and have all the tax gathering done here? Because, it, I mean, the main reason for that is in England, 
the Tories have won the argument. The general public can believe what they're being told. About they believe huge that number of benefit strangers on the dole yeah. is scrounging. Staying in bed. Yeah. That's what they believe. Watching daytime television. See what you're just saying about oil there. Just just to be a sign. Right, and wherever the British or whether any colonial power is, whether you believe that Scotland is a colony or not, because uh, it, it did join up itself under, under duress, possibly. Um, but Britain's always been in there, and it's always been for people's good and to civilise them, and we're all better together, but that's ours, even though it's yours. I mean, everything is about grabbing things or forcing people to buy things from you. Uh, I mean, that whole idea just proves that it's all about the oil, and it's got it. And I mean, this, I mean... It, he's but, off. He's on his run. Yeah, yeah, but really, let's hope it's a big albatross around the English neck, all this Scottish oh, oil. I mean, we're lucky because, I mean, obviously, they can deal with the ups and downs of the oil price where we couldn't. Well, look, I have to say, I thought, I watched Joanne today, and I thought she looked very much in her comfort zone. She mm -hmm. stood up very com more confident than I've ever seen her. Mind you, as her questions let her down, as usual, because, as, as, as Nori said, she, she says so much. Salmon can choose what, which bit to answer. Mm. Uh, and he'll pick his favourite bit so that they, they, they look bad. And um, he's, so he came back with figures. I didn't think she even managed to get much of a, a sound bite for the, 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 the mainstream media to, to use, because that's the other side. That's what gives her the confidence. She knows that whatever she says gets, appears in the, in the newspapers and gets on BBC Scotland. But as I said, the only thing I can remember her saying was that she started teaching in the 1980s. That's true. Everybody knows that. Um, but she was, no, no, I think she did quite well. Um, Ruth, I just don't understand oh. why, why, why go on crime when crime figures are their best ever in Scotland for 30 years. Well, I've got a question for you. What subject, if you were Ruth Davidson, would you pick? Defence? That's about it. And then she's got to deal with crime. There is, I don't think there's a, I can't, there's not a subject that automatically springs to mind where the Tories are on safe ground. It just doesn't exist. Even in defence they've got dodgy things because I mean, she'd be better, back on she'd the be RA. better doing her version of what I'd like to see Salmon doing, which is one word answers. I'd like her to get up and go, actually I have no questions. <laughs> when, when you covered the signs that says liar, toxic, Tory, this, you know, I mean, really, really, I mean, whatever you ask, nobody's going to believe the word you, you say anything. That's true, yes. <laughs> anyway, she, um, as about her, 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 I don't know if even she was very she confident had lost today. Her way a bit. She had a makeover, have you not? She's had a makeover, did you notice? No. No, with the, you know, the, the more, the deaths and that, and she's, there's, she's not so much like that, she's a bit like that now. She seems to be on some kind of regime. You mean she might have been losing weight? Yeah. No, you mean she's wearing a corset? I don't know. Well, 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 well boned, you think? Let's, be, let's, not, let's not go down that road. I've been in trouble here before. Um, Willie, yes, I mean, they, 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 it, was, it was an old song. When you think of all three of them, it was like the same old, same old. And where's the point of that? I mean, it's turning people off, I would imagine. Do you know, here's another interesting one. Do you know how Lamont, before the break, was going on and on about concentrating on... Uh, the now, not the referendum to Sarah. What, what's her line going to be when she eventually has to do the referendum thing? That will, I mean, she'll eventually have to start talking about that in Parliament. What's her line going to be then? Mm. She's kind of dug a hole for herself there. Because every time she does something, Sammy can get up and say, I thought you wanted me to talk about the now, not the, not the referendum. Anyway, Sam definitely bested all three of them today. Well, uh, yes, does. And the presiding officer, Almost didn't notice her, so she must have been doing it quite well today. Yeah, they were quite well behaved. Well, I, I didn't hear any deaths banging. No, there was applause. But no, just, just as, as you were saying, not going there with, with Ruth, because it's a thing with Tory women, mind Thatcher, the makeover, the hair, the voice, everything else, you know. Uh, they seem to do that, and well, Joanne well, doesn't do the makeover, does she? No, not really, no, neither does Sam. She stopped wearing that ridiculous jacket. With the flowery house coat. The house coat, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, no, no, she looked, yeah, yeah, she does have that confidence, but it's a content. It's two colours, two yeah. colours, yeah. red and black, white and black. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, let's try and get go them scores. Um, sorry to not be terribly exciting this week. However, the, the follow-up show sure might boring. be better. It's boring. There's something. There's something. What, what does it mean when your nose gets itchy? And you're not about to sneeze. No. Money. Money, is it? Okay. Um, Never heard that. Phil, scores. Um, Willie. Nothing. Uh, Ruth. I've not even put Willie down on the list. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ruth. <laughs> Nothing as well. She's been just totally disingenuous. Well, he's just been a, a tit. Um, um, Joanne? Yeah, she's had the delivery. Drew good, but still that bit shifty eye bit, but then she was looking at a lot of figures. It was figures, figures, figures. So um, I'd give it a seven. Salmon, again, it was. Figures. Seven? Sorry. Seven, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, well, salmon was figures, figures, figures again. Um, I mean, there was very few sound bites or put downs or anything. The overall bit was, he was that overall bit because, well, if, if, he shouldn't be first minister if he wasn't. Um, and he didn't manage to knock her back a few bits, so I'd give, I'd give him an eight. It was very unexciting this week. Oh, and uh, I never noticed uh, or needed to notice the presiding officer, so I'll say she's done a good job. So, for once, yeah, I'll jump up and I'll give. Well, if you didn't notice her and everything went along, yeah, I think she deserves an eight as well, then. Very yeah, good. Not eight. What are you scoring on? I'm not going to score Joanne up at a seven, sorry, because she does that rambling thing. I'm going to give her a five. Oh, it's only for the. I mean, there's no content. If it was, if, if I was asking a, a, a score for content, I'd probably give you somewhere down around what slightly more than willing. The, the thing is that she's being more comfortable hasn't helped her be more effective. Hmm. She just looks more comfortable. Hmm. That works. Ruth people. Davidson. <laughs> I can't give her anything this week. I always try and give her something, but no this week. Will you give her one? Willie Rennie. I'm sorry. Don't go there again. Uh, if you ask a question about three-year-olds, I'll be stunned. Uh, you might be mature if you did that. Complete waste of time. Uh, Alex, I thought Alex was good today. Um, he bumbled a bit, but he's always got the ammunition. Yeah, I'll give him an eight. He wasn't... He did get a bit annoyed quite early on, actually, with Chua. But um, I'll give him an eight. It wasn't what a high five. five. And I'll give the speaker an eight. Um, because she didn't have to do anything, which meant the glaring and pointing that we couldn't have seen. And the, and the kicking she'd given them before they went in. <laughs> yeah. That's fair enough. Um, Willie. I can't give him anything. What was the point of it? chasing the same thing? I mean, the only reason he could he could mention it, or or, or he, why he did mention it, is the fact that the Scottish government had introduced the bill for their change to the nursery provisions, and that was in you know, that was done today. So I give him an excuse to mention it. I suppose I'll give him one for that. Um, Ruth, I don't understand why. I know they love to go and cry in the Tories, but. Given the circumstances, even the police are happier in Scotland. Yep. It, pointless, I'm going to give her. It's kind of nothing. Oh, I thought you were going to give her nothing. Alright, oh, oh, give her one for a makeover. No, I thought I could feel a minus coming. No, no, I'll give her one for our makeover. <laughs> Joanne, she has. She's hit her ceiling. She's hit her ceiling. That She's comfortable now. She feels quite happy standing up there. She knows she gets a good press. Um, and, and therefore, that makes her happy. But uh, performances, she was not. She done better. Five. And don't forget, it's a unionist press. Um, Salmond, without being particularly outstanding today, he just winged it without even thinking about it. Mm. He hadn't. There was no effort. He even finished up with consensus. He said, "Let's all be good. Let's all be nice. I'll be nice to Liz Smith." To a Tory. It looks like a liberal. Uh, and uh, so I, I think I'll give him about, I'll give him an eight. Oh, and the presiding officer, well, eight's too much. She was quite good. I'll give her a six. So overall, and Elaine Murray, she gets a minus. <laughs> oh, well, actually, I was, I was thinking more of um, See, Elaine Murray for entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be tired. For entertainment value, maybe? Obviously, lying on a beach somewhere. Sunstroke? You think uh, the she was suffering from sunstroke? Oh, that's possible. Uh, How are we scoring there? Well... Just because you, Willie, and Ruth both get one, <laughs> Phil and I gave them an eight. Well, not even for turning I'm up. I'm feeling generous. Um, 24 for... I? 
Joanne got 17. Jo Joanne's doing all right when you think the scoring that she had at the start of the tournament. Uh, Alex, 24, and the nearest to Alex was the presiding officer with 22. So you can score 22 points by doing nothing. That's good. And one point by getting up and making a nice. So you could be right. The best advice for Ruth is to say, well done, First Minister, and sit down again and not <laughs> ask a question. We'd give her five or something. Aye, for honesty. For honesty. Or just go for the pure entertainment bit, you know. Which, yeah. you know. Or dress more pro provocative. Okay. Well, let's not go there again. <laughs> Right then, guys. Hang on, this is sounding a bit like a, yeah, a, right, right. Uh, a, a little, no, let's not go there again. People will be saying that. Yeah, well, yeah, okay. Let's but, not go there again. Go again. But look, um, we'll, um, we'll wind this one up to this week. It wasn't a very exciting first message questions, but um, make, make, the word. make sure you catch uh, this week's version of the, the Leith Noise Up show. I think you'll find it a lot more entertaining, which we're about to record. And thank you very much, gentlemen, and goodbye.